morning interwebs. It is about 9 after 11. I'm up. My voice appears to be working a little better than it was at this point yesterday. So that is good. But now I'm coughing, which I feel like means it's more productive than just that terrible swallowing feeling I had yesterday. In other news, the, uh, the TV is now working. Last night I just listened to music through my computer and it was lovely and I found like the best, uh, like radio station on Google Play Music for what I'm reading. And that's good. Um, or at least it was the best for this particular book. I got to pay, like, I think I'm 90 pages in now. I was 30 pages in when I sat down at, what, like midnight when I talked to you last? Yes, I'm on page 93. I'm at the very beginning of chapter 9. So, I made some progress through my book. I enjoyed it. It was lovely. And then I went to bed at a reasonable hour, like... I don't know, 2.30ish, so that isn't bad. My reading is a lot slower than I remember it being, but that's fine, as long as I'm, as I'm enjoying it, I guess, it doesn't really matter. I don't have to speed through it, but I used to be a much more brisk reader. I used to just be more mentally focused, I think, that's it. So, gonna go and uh, mentally focus on making some more tea this morning and get my day going. It is 12.53 and we're just headed out the door. We need to stop by the bank on our way to Manhattan, but we are so much chaos, so we try and get out the door. It's just crazy. And there's a very slow moving tractor <laughs> driving down our road. So they have like a brush hog or something on them. I don't know. Anyways, I am gonna go and load my troops and myself into the car. 2.30, done at acupuncture. Walking over to the park to meet the rest of my, my troops. Then we're gonna go to some quilt stores here in Manhattan because I am on the search for some more fox fabric that I like. So uh, that's a thing. And then I think Steve has a few places he wants to go to get some parts. The dishwasher's acting up again, so apparently the fix didn't quite fix things. So we will go and work on those. Aldi and other assorted errands, probably a trip to Goodwill, because I need to find some, uh, some pants or like long wormish skirts, because it's getting a little drafty these times of years. It is now, I don't know, it's a time. It's almost nine and we are home from Manhattan after I caught up with everybody. We went to two quilt shops where I bought no fabric because I didn't have what I was looking for, but I did see some things that I might in the future be interested in. We also went to Goodwill and the store where we got our wood stove because we needed a gasket and where else did, we? I feel like we went somewhere else, but maybe that was it. It took a while, it was a long day. Um, Goodwill took a bit. I'll show you what we got in a little bit here. And then we uh, went and had dinner at IHOP. That was all right. And went to Aldi, as indicated by uh, the things on the table. There will be an Aldi haul up here, probably before this vlog even comes out. And then we uh, came home. So, it has been a very long day. Oh, I skipped, I skipped the most fun part. We went to Joanne's after we uh, did all those things because I was looking for some particular fabric, so I got a, a wee bit of fabric in there. Then I bought this, come on. I bought this bag of yarn, some more mill end stuff for $3.99, and I'm gonna make a hat for at least one kid, potentially all kids. So I'm excited about that. So I will get out the uh, stuff we got at Goodwill and show you what we got. So at Goodwill today, my daughter got this pair of like pants, they're stretchy, they're by a brand called Cat and Jack, I've never heard of before, but they were 50% off today because they were a blue tagged item, so they were a dollar. Then she got this I'll be there for you long sleeve shirt, that was two dollars, and then this little like t-shirty dress thing with sequins that says just be you and has this cute little skirt and a cat on it apparently, and that was four dollars, but I told her I think that she will like it and it fit her in a way that it'll last through to next summer, so... We'll just wear it over leggings and things right now and then keep going with it. So I was happy with the price on that. Then my son got a $2 pair of corduroy pants. The brand is Chaps and a Sonoma Lifestyles like chenille sweater, which is so soft and fun. And then he spent his allowance money on, well, some of it to get a pair of Star Wars pajamas. So that was $4, $2 a piece for some really nice quality um, flannel Star Wars pajamas. They're in really good shape for being at the Goodwill. And then for myself, I spent $2 on this sleeveless, like super drapey top, which for now I can wear over 
like a long sleeve top and leggings or under a cardigan or something, but I can also wear next summer. And then I got this camisole again to wear underneath my handmade stuff that I uh, need to cover up either the holes in or just keep the wind out. And the light top is ANA, which I believe is the JCPenney's brand if I'm remembering right. And this is Maurice. So $2 for each of these. So I was happy with that. It's also funny, I've heard them say before that um, like you pick clothes based on what you're wearing that day. So if you wear a certain color or a certain style, clearly that's what you were into that day. So then you go shopping and you buy all those things. Well, today I was wearing this and I actually, it had gotten hot in Manhattan. It was like a little over 70 degrees. So I didn't have my poncho on anymore. So I was just wearing a black long sleeve shirt and black pant or black skirt. And I totally walked into the dressing room with a handful of black and white items. No color this week, which is very strange for me. So that was kind of funny. That clearly that is kind of true. You're, you're looking for what you're wearing that day. Well, I uh, decided that I should uh, start a little project with that brand new yarn I bought. Oh, you got a hair on you. There you go. So I, uh, I made a hat tonight. For one of my kids. I figured I haven't cut it off yet. I need to try it on their dome and make sure that it fits before I, you know, fully commit that this is the size it's going to be. And then I started a matching, I think it's actually going to be a cowl because I was thinking about it and I think that they will have fewer problems with like the scarf ends and stuff getting caught in zippers and actually staying around their neck and whatever if maybe I make them a small cowl. So I will uh, try that around a neck tomorrow before I commit. I listened to some more podcasts while I was uploading a We Hook Wednesday video on the other channel. And then I read and listened to my music on the TV, which like I said, is now working. <laughs> so that was enjoyable. And now I got all sleepy. So even though I only read, let's see, I think I read three chapters. Yeah, I read three chapters. I am going to go to bed. So, that's all right. I am tired. It was a big day today. So, and tomorrow, I don't think we have anything huge planned, but, you know, the days always fill up when Steve's home. And, uh, I need to get some more canning done <laughs> just to finish clearing things out. And I still need to put away all the groceries, which I didn't do, but I have other things out in the kitchen right now, so I need to kind of put some of the stuff away so that I have room to put the dish or the food away. I don't know. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you all tomorrow. Nighty night. -night.